Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. The Corruption of Truth, December 14. Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Matthew twenty four twenty three. Before the last developments of the work of apostasy, there will be a confusion of faith. There will not be clear and definite ideas concerning the mystery of God. One truth after another will be corrupted. After the truth has been proclaimed as a witness to all nations, every conceivable power of evil will be set in operation, and minds will be confused by many voices crying, Lo, here is Christ. Lo, there he is. This is the truth. I have the message from God. He has sent me with great light. Then there will be a removing of the landmarks and an attempt to tear down the pillars of our faith. A more decided effort will be made to exalt the false Sabbath and to cast contempt upon God himself by supplanting the day he has blessed and sanctified. This false Sabbath is to be enforced by an oppressive law. In the future, deception of every kind is to rise and we want solid ground for our feet. We want solid pillars for the building. Not one pin is to be removed from that which the Lord has established. The enemy will bring in false theories such as the doctrine that there is no sanctuary. This is one of the points on which there will be a departing from the faith. There will be false dreams and false visions, which have some truth, but led away from the original faith. The Lord has given men a rule by which to detect them. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 As we near the end of time, falsehood will be so mingled with truth that only those who have the guidance of the Holy Spirit will be able to distinguish truth from error. We need to make every effort to keep the way of the Lord. We must in no case turn from His guidance to put our trust in man. The Lord's angels are appointed to keep strict watch over those who put their faith in the Lord. And these angels are to be our special help in every time of need. Every day, we are to come to the Lord with full assurance of faith and to look to Him for wisdom. Those who are guided by the word of the Lord will discern the certainty between falsehood and truth, between sin and righteousness.